Yeah. <laughs> You're just like, ugh. All right, let me get in here. Hello, people. I'm Jabby Kuwait, joined by Kristen Stephenson Pino Hi. and Achara the Kirk. We're going to look at AIB Honest Engineering Canvas Placements Part 3. This is the finale Press. of the trilogy. It's so excited that it cut me off in the middle of my intro. This has 5.4 million views with 164,000 upvotes and only 1.6 thousand downvotes. That's incredible numbers. Yeah. Like, that's really, really good uh, in terms of the votes, which means like, this is really, really loved and I'm excited to watch it. We're kind of like half understanding the last two. So we like the second one more than the first one. Is that yes. unanimous? Okay, so hopefully this one just kind of ups the ante even more for us. Thank you to AIB for allowing us to react to this. Very, very much appreciate it. You guys are cool and awesome. And also Kristen is on the social media as well as a Char Kirk and they both would appreciate it if you'd follow them. Otherwise, they will hunt you down and cut your balls off. This is our last reaction of the day, so here goes nothing. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update from All India Bakchod. Here we go. Three, two, one. Are you ready? One. Let's go. <laughs> Hilarious. I'm average and this is my self-esteem. <laughs> oh yes, okay, cool. Down for crazy. I like when they split up the the personality, the feeling as a separate person. Sir, uh, stammer. Um, nervous mumbling. Um, Total technical terms related to what you just asked. Then, as you will think that I know the answer, I will go off topic and I will do some time waste. You know, some words like if, uh, but, uh, generally speaking. Actually, sir, for example, technically it is. Thinking that acting, so that you will think that I am giving a long answer. Then I will give you. From the gun, there is a hot, 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 wrong answer. रिजेक्ट तो तुम हो गए हो। अभी मैं थोड़े मजे लूँगा। चलो, एक ऐसा ग्राफ बना जो जो तुझे नहीं आता। सर, वो बनाओ जो आता है। नहीं है। Oh wait, oh wait, it paused. I'm pretty sure it paused because the battery just died there. I'm so sorry. Okay. That was exciting too. I feel like I've been there. Wow. ये वाला ग्राफ तो तुमने ट्वेल्थ में भी तो पढ़ा था, नहीं? Sir, 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 please वो वाला पूछिए ना जो पिछले कैंडिडेट से पूछा था। नहीं, नहीं, नहीं। तू इतना नर्वस है। तुझे कौन सी चीज़ दे दूँ? I love it. No. Sir, when you kill me, I'll give you extra. Okay. I'll take a little bit of it. What's your dead old jerk off to celebrate? That's so fucked up. What is your favorite subject? Thermodynamics, sir. So, what's the most difficult subject in thermodynamics? I'm doing it, sir. One level easy question? I don't need a job, sir. Interview is finished, please. Okay. Thermodynamics, the most easy question. What's going on? He's losing it. He's trying to make That's his feelings, yeah. Next! Oh my god! Drag yourself a That's so real, though. That's so real. Existing without purpose. No, I was reading in English, sir. Already judging you. So, where's self esteem? Sir, what's the technical interview? Ke baad hi chal basa. The whole point of this interview is uh, to check whether the students who have cleared the technical round, whether they can speak even two sentences in English or not? Two sentences, I can, sir. Utna to hoga, sir. So, um, tell me something about yourself. Sir, I don't know anything about you, so I'll tell you about my personal details. In English, please? Uh, yeah. Oh. Here are my personal details. My name, my full name, 
my father's name, father's full name, Aadhaar card number, bank IFSC code, CVV. Sir, CVV can't tell you for security purposes. And hmm. coming to my family, sir, uh, I come from my family. And I meet Holi with them, because it's a holy ring of the holy. So, what are your hobbies? I've worked with the kids from childhood, so I can't get to reach here, so hobbies are not the only thing to do, sir. Could you just say that in English? I like reading, listening to music, breathing, charging my phone, more breathing. I do excretion. My favorite hobby, sir, is blinking. What are your strengths and weaknesses? Sir, this is the most important question, sir. First of all, there's no strength. In English, please. I'm telling you. Why will I tell you my weaknesses? I will tell you about strength and weakness. You know, like... English! I am a perfectionist. I am a workaholic. I am an innocent... English! Shut up, man! What are you doing? What is English, English, English? I was four years old. When my father was in Jabalpur, he was in Hawaii. He was never gone to school. That's why he was in school. He was in school. He was in school. Now, he was in English medium school. But in the years, our teachers were talking about Hindi. हमारे स्कूल के लड़के एक दूसरे से यो वासब डो ऐसे बात नहीं करते हैं क्या वो अगरा तेरा लड़ना आज कर रहा है ऐसे गले मिलते हैं किसी तरह रट्टा मार मार के मार मार के टेंथ तक पहुंचे तो पता चला कि जिंदगी में सफल होने के लिए एक ही तरीका है और वो है इंजीनियरिंग सब ये कहते थे माँ बाप टीचर लो बकरों की तरह मैं आईआईटी मैं एनआईटी अरे जिस बच्चे ने अपने बाप को जलेबी तलते देखा है वो तो यही सोचेगा ना कि जिंदगी में पैसा ही सब कुछ है। I did not choose this engineering life, sir, and neither did this engineering life choose me. It was shoved down my throat by my teachers while my hands were tied to my back by my friends and my parents watched in silence. और इंग्लिश सुनेगा तो माधर चोट तो सुन। टेंथ के बाद दो साल लग गए इस कॉलेज में घुसने के लिए कोचिंग में निकाल दिए ना कुछ खेले ना कुछ सीखे और दो साल बाद जब यहाँ पहुँचे तो पता चला कि बड़े शहरों के कॉन्वेंट स्कूल के पढ़े बच्चे जब अंग्रेजी में बात करते हैं तो मरे हुए फूल भी खिल उठते हैं आ हा 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 हवा में ऑक्सीजन की मात्रा बढ़ जाती है इनकी अंग्रेजी सुनके और पूरे कॉलेज की लड़कियाँ इन इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग लड़कों को अपना जीवन साथी डॉट कॉम मान चुकी है तुझे क्या लगता है मुझे कभी लगा नहीं कि मैं अपनी अंग्रेजी पे काम करूँ अपने पर्सनालिटी पे काम करूँ बहुत लगा ये चूतिया इंडस वैली सिविलाइजेशन का जो एजुकेशन सिस्टम बिठा के रखे हो जिसमें हर साल में दस सब्जेक्ट हर सब्जेक्ट में थियरी प्रैक्टिकल वाइवा लैब वर्क एक्सटर्नल इंटरनल मेजर्स माइनर्स असाइनमेंट प्रोजेक्ट इसे गार्ड मार के रख लिया हमारी महीनों तक नहाना भूल जाते हम लोग और फिर हमारा परसेप्शन बना देते हो कि हम ऐसे ही रहना चाहते हैं अब इस साल में एक बार कल्चरल फेस्टिवल आता है एक बार उसके लिए भी प्रोफेसर से भीख मांगनी पड़ती है अरे बिना इंग्लिश बोले बिना लड़कियों से बात किए कौन गांडू रहना चाहता है वैसे पर टाइम कहा कुछ सीखने के लिए लगे पड़े हैं कोडिंग सीखने तीन तीन लैंग्वेज सीख रहे हैं अलग अलग इंग्लिश छोड़ के लेकिन जब प्लेसमेंट्स की बात आई तो सबको एप्टीट्यूड चाहिए पर्सनालिटी चाहिए इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग चाहिए इट इज नॉट दैट वी कैन नॉट स्पीक इंग्लिश सर वी आर जस्ट वेरी कॉन्शियस ऑफ आर डिक्शन एंड आर प्रोनाउंसिएशन एंड वी आर नॉट कॉन्फिडेंट टू स्पीक इन फ्रंट ऑफ एनी वन एल्स इफ द करिकुलम वॉज द लिटिल बिट डिवर्स इफ द इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज इन आर कंट्री फोकस्ड ऑन आर ऑल राउंड डेवलपमेंट इन स्टेड ऑफ फंक्शनिंग लाइक अ गॉड डैम फैक्ट्री दट इज जस्ट मास प्रोड्यूसिंग रोबोट बाय किलिंग दर ड्रीम्स एंड हैंडिंग आउट डिग्रीज आई वुड नॉट बी सिटिंग हियर इन दिस पॉइंटलेस एच आर इंटरव्यू द लाइक्स ऑफ विच एक्सिस्ट ओनली इन आर कंट्री येलो सर अब बताइए wow. क्या मैं आपके मल्टीनेशनल कंपनी के लायक हूं डू आई हैव द पोटेंशियल टू बी अ स्लेव ऑफ योर एस्टीम्ड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वाओ जीसस क्राइस्ट ओके आई लाइक दिस वन गॉट माय अटेंशन Basically, I want a more energy efficient lighting and air conditioning system for this entire floor. But I doubt that you could jump up. Sir, you don't listen to the sound of the air conditioning system. I'll put a faulty AC in the whole room. If there's any problem, I'll take a call and I'll take a call. Happy? Sir, there's no interest in listening to your bug-bugs. I'll take two minutes in two hours. Sure, sure, sure. I'll allow me two minutes. I'll be back in two hours. Oh, my God! 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 O
अबे कुत्तो कैसे हो गाइस गाइस लिसन आई हैव सम न्यूज़ टू शेयर विद यू गाइस मैं पेरेंटल प्रेशर में आके शादी कर रहा हूं थैंक यू गाइस अरे मुझे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता बट मिला कहां उससे तू अबे वो पार्क क्या है हां तो मम्मी बैठी थी उस पार्क में एक दिन बोली कि एक लड़की पसंद कर ली है इससे शादी कर लो वरना मैं जहर खा के मर जाऊंगी बोली मत You are second on Forbes list of 30 overachievers over 30. ठीक है? मैं नहीं यार। अब इसमें कौन है? What is this? I think that that's their those are their grades and what oh. they studied. Bang mara kyu har roz GPA ab me. I guess they all studied engineering or some kind. Yes, gar me back lagi hai. Why are the GPS so high? It's different. It's, it's different, different system. Right? I don't know what the maximum yeah. is. Yeah, our maximum over here is like four. Or, or like some people have over four, but it's usually around four. Wow. I guess it's refreshing and like kind of inspiring that so many of these people are dropouts. <laughs> Because I was kind of a dropout also. Like I didn't finish college. Wow, a lot of these guys are dropouts. I mean, they found themselves like again with AIB. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So I guess this was like like more meaningful to them. Yeah. Well, that whole monologue at the end. That was really good. Yeah. Um, I, that that was by far my favorite. Yeah. The mm -hmm. monologue was just it like everything that is wrong with that kind of system and that kind of education system. Like you can tell that they've been feeling this for a long time. Yeah. It's just like yeah. I agree. What's interesting to me is that AIB is like known for being like this kind of sketch group that's mm -hmm. supposed to be funny, and just like with house parties, I know you didn't watch that, yeah. but with house parties, the same kind of thing happened where the third one was like this kind of epic end of the world monologue, emphasizing and and crystallizing everything that these people felt in this kind of bubble, mm -hmm. in this kind of universe of what they go through on a daily basis or over the course of several years. That monologue really summed it up very effectively. Where you're like, you get it, and if you don't get it, you're an idiot. Like. <laughs> It's very hard hitting and like a hammer on yeah. the head. It sucks. I mean like you feel the pain in his in his message and it's like mm -hmm. even though it's supposed to be satirical, it's like it's not funny anymore. It's just like that's just it hurts to know that that's yeah. just very real. I thought I saw some tears in his eyes as he was delivering that monologue. I felt it. Right. Because it's like just just the amount of pressure that you're put under to perform mm -hmm. and then you're expected to have a life, have a personality, have hobbies yeah. and you're like shit. What I've been studying this whole time. What did you expect? Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, like it's too much. The odd thing is, and this is gonna sound random, and like I'm making a joke, but I'm not. It reminds me of Deadpool because there's this scene in Deadpool where Ryan Reynolds is like, he starts recounting of a Taken Three mm -hmm. and how ridiculous that movie is. But when he's saying it, you see this pain in his eyes because he's actually, he's actually thinking about something else. And to be able to talk about a joke but be serious about it and feel pain at the same time is kind of amazing to me because everything he's saying, he's doing the honest version, which is obviously a satirical and, and, and a joke. But you can see real pain in his eyes. You know what I'm saying? Am I making yeah, any sense? Yeah. Okay, okay, you go. You you say things now. <laughs> you go. <laughs> um, I was. Just I'm speechless. Know. I'm speechless right now because I was listening to what you guys were saying. I'm like, yeah, I agree with all that. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I yeah, agree. I really agree. Good. Applause, applause. I feel yeah. like there's not much you can say. It's just that yeah. powerful and 
great. There were just so strong. many things in that monologue coming from a family and like living up to people's expectations, not just in your family, but in your whole society. environment in yeah. society. I liked the beginning. I thought that was brilliant how he divided himself like up. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That was brilliant. Yeah, I really I liked, loved it. I like that a lot because there's actually other AIB videos you can watch. Man's Best Friend. Man's Best Friend, and it was talking about a guy, and of all things, his penis. But his penis was a person. The Seeing the dynamic of personalities between that, it was actually very fascinating. It didn't mm -hmm. feel like your overt American sexual comedy. It felt like it was actually expressing something Meaningful, and there was the same thing with uh, they did the girl version also, woman's best friend or whatever, yeah, girl's like best friend. And you, and you saw boobs, the clitoris, the vagina, like all, as these different personalities. Yeah. And it was really, really, really interesting, just kind of breaking down what people go through in this satirical way. Mm -hmm. Because you don't even see it though. You yes. know what I mean? It's something that's internal, so in order for them to like throw it out there, yeah, and you can visually see it and grasp it, and you know because you're like, oh, I know that feeling. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what it would look like. So I just thought it was really brilliant. That's why I got excited when I'm like, oh, they divided it up into personality. Yeah. I, I, yes, I'm like, yes, more of this, because that's really, really yeah. good. Mm -hmm. It's very effective in communicating the feeling of what people go through in those moments. I gotta reveal something. I'm kind of man crushing on that dude. Like, he's a handsome <laughs> fucking dude. And he, did a, like... and he did a good job. He did an excellent job. I'm very impressed by this guy. The more and more I see him and watch him, the more I'm like, yeah. Hey, what's up? <laughs> what your hey. name is? <laughs> no, he's super cute. Yeah, he did a good job. Their personalities are cute too, though. All of them. Yeah. yeah. All of them start looking really attractive after you start watching through it. You watch anybody long enough, they you know become I mean? handsome at some point. <laughs> <laughs> no, but their personalities just, and everything, you know? Their little hearts are out and yeah. they open and it's kind of cute. I love it. I, I love too. just that monologue. I can't... The monologue was powerful. I can't get it out of my mind just all the things and the rote learning, the para learning and the expectations and stuff like that. But it was super heartening to see at the end like all of their placement scores mm -hmm. and just how many people dropped out. And I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing because I've said this before and I'll say it again, some of the smartest, most intelligent, most interesting, most successful people that I know either never went to college or dropped out. The fact that you went to a university or not is no indication of, you know, how far you're gonna get in life. It just all comes down to you. But then it's interesting that at the end, he still <laughs> joins the corporate rat race though. Oh, Even I, after yeah. all of that. I, yeah. I know what I was gonna say. In his monologue, he was talking about how this is focused in India and how this is exclusive to India. Mm -hmm. That's the one part I would disagree with because it's not limited to India. This is a worldwide phenomenon on, I think we kind of all go through, especially in the Asian community. Mm -hmm. You lived in Japan, yeah. you grew up in Thailand. It's very much the same. Yeah, very it's much the same. like Japan has one of the highest suicide rates in the world. Yeah. Korea has the highest suicide rate in the world. South Korea has the highest suicide rate in the world for a reason. It's like you're taught that you have to succeed, otherwise it's the end of the world. And if you don't, you might as well kill yourself, which they do. It's horrible. And it's interesting to see that you know, different parts of the world, mm -hmm. how like there are similarities and they start becoming so robotic because it's the norm. The system. And it's mm -hmm. not that, it's not that it's something they like or enjoy, it's just, they have to it's go the norm, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's and expectation. Gonna change. Yeah. And it's also honor with family and maintaining mm -hmm. face and all that stuff. Yeah, this it's is a, a lot of pressure. It's a very Asian thing and it's unfortunate. Hopefully there's change in the years to come. It's just it's just not right. Like he was saying in the in the monologue of his, it's not it's not good. It's not healthy. It's not making better people. Mm -hmm. It's just making robots. It's just making people who are cogs in the machine mm -hmm. who are abandoning their dreams to maintain family honor and not really do anything that is fulfilling. But saying that though, if your dream is to be an engineer, then more power to you. Right, there's- We need those people, there's, but there's nothing not wrong with that. There's nothing yeah. wrong with doing that if you wanna do that. The wrong is when you're forced into doing something, when you don't really have the passion for that because your family said so, yeah. and because society tells you, you have to do this. I was just talking to a girl the other day from India who's like, I, I am an artist at heart, but I'm studying law because artists can't really get anywhere here in India. You want to be an artist, like that's who you, that's what your passion is, but you're studying mm -hmm. this other thing you hate just because your family says so, just because like you have to because of society. Yeah. Like that's not, that's not fair. I'm really happy with this video. Like yeah. I, I wasn't expecting this third act at all. And uh, it moved me. It moved me a lot. Yeah. Great video to end the day on. AIB, thank you so much for, for making this video and sharing it and allowing us to react to it. Really, really appreciate it. You guys, if you haven't yet, please follow Kristen Stevenson Pino on the social media because she needs the followers. She is desperate. And Achara Kirk, likewise. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out our other reactions, reviews, and short films. I'm Jabby Kuei. This is Kristen Stevenson Pino. And Achara Kirk. Peace out. Love y'all. You guys are awesome. Thank you.